Hello, I'm Martin L. Shoemaker, one of the authors in Robots Through the Ages, an exciting new anthology coming from Blackstone Publishing, July 25th, edited by Robert Silverberg and Brian Thomas Schmidt. This book is a history of robot stories across the field of science fiction going back more than a hundred years, including three new stories never before seen just for this volume, including one of mine. And I have loved the stories in this volume, and I would like to put together a video reviewing each of the different stories within it and share it with you so that you can see what you can get in this amazing volume. Our next story in Robots Through the Ages is Instinct by Lester Del Rey. It opens as follows. Sen 3 waved aside the slowing scooter and lengthened his stride down the sidewalk. He had walked all the way from the rocket port and there was no point to a taxi now that he was only a few blocks from the biolabs. Besides, it was too fine a morning to waste in riding. He sniffed at the crisp, clean fumes of gasoline appreciatively and listened to the music of his hard heels slapping against the concrete. It was good to have a new body again. He hadn't appreciated what life was like for the last hundred years or so. He let his eyes rove across the street toward the blue flame of a welding torch and realized how long it had been since his eyes had really appreciated the delicate beauty of such a flame. The wise old brain in his chest even seemed to think better now. It was worth every stinking minute he'd spent on Venus. At times like this, one could realize how good it was to be alive and to be a robot. Instinct comes to us from Lester Del Rey, another pioneering writer of the golden age of science fiction, and also known very well as an editor. With his wife, Judy Lynn Del Rey, they became the leading editors of Valentine Books' science fiction imprint, Del Rey Books. So their name was put on hundreds of science fiction books through the years where they were editors or line editors, but they started as writers. And Lester Del Rey first came to my attention with the book The Runaway Robot, which was supposedly written by him. Uh, historians say, in fact, he plotted it and a ghostwriter wrote it. I didn't know any of that when I was 10 years old reading my battered copy of The Runaway Robot, a story of a boy getting sent home from one of the moons of Jupiter. might have been Saturn. It's been a long time since I read this. But getting sent home he can't take his robot with him. And so he has to go on the ship back to Earth and the robot is abandoned and discovers he doesn't like where his working conditions are now and wants to flee and find his boy. And that boy, coincidentally enough, maybe it was in the back of my head, that boy was Paul. So I find some amusement that my story, Today I Am Paul, which is my first major robot story, has this conceptual tie back to one of the first robot stories I ever read. And now I'm in a collection with Lester Del Rey with the story Instinct, which we know he really did write this one. The QR code on the right can help you track down a copy of Runaway Robot if you're interested in a juvenile science fiction story from more than 50 years ago. Returning to Instinct, he probably knew some of it, Senthry thought. They all got part of it as legends. He leaned back in his seat now, though, as the biochemists began the old tale of the beginning as they knew it. They knew that there had been a man, been man a million years before them. And somebody, Asimov or Asenian, the record wasn't quite clear, had apparently created the first robot. They had improved it up to about the present level. Then there had been some kind of a contest in which violent forces had ruined the factories, most of the robots, and nearly all of the men. It was believed from the fragmentary records that a biological weapon had killed the rest of man, leaving only the robots. Those first robots, as they were now known, had had to start on a ruined world from scratch, 
a world where mines were exhausted and factories were gone. They'd learned to get metals from the sea and had spent years and centuries slowly rebuilding the machines to build new robots. There had been only two of them when the task was finished, and they had barely time enough to run one new robot off and educate him sketchily. Then they had discharged finally, and he had taken up rebuilding the race. It was almost like the beginning with no history and no science. Twenty millennia had passed before they began to rebuild a civilization of their own. But why did man die? Sen 3 asked. This becomes the central background and the goal of Instinct by Del Rey. That these robots exist in a world that they know had a history that began with man. Notice also the nod to Isaac Asimov, who was one of the pioneering robot authors of the Golden Age. We'll come back to him. But they don't understand what man was and powers that humanity had that they lack. That they are all about their logics, but humanity could do other things beyond logic. And this story is their attempt to understand those things through scientific means. And the ending delighted and surprised me. I didn't see it coming, and it was a perfect fit.